Today, we're going to be running a very interesting Grixis build for you guys. And today's list has been on my to-do list for quite some time. And that is because we ran into a very creative player on the ladder a long time ago that was running a Mind Link mech mixed with Ifrit Flame Painter. Now, if you guys don't know, the Flame Painter allows us to cast spells from the graveyard for free every single time it deals combat damage to our opponent's face. Now, the Mind Link mech comes down a turn before the uh, Flame Painter and then crews itself with the Flame Painter, becoming its own flame painter which is going to hit our opponent for eight damage allowing us to cast two spells from our graveyard for zero mana which is insane especially when you talk about these big spells that we're going to be having in our graveyard things like invoke despair invoke the winds magma opus a ton of really big game ending spells are going to be in our graveyard and we're going to get them to the graveyard with things like tainted indulgence as well as fable the mirror breaker uh this deck is insane it has some really crazy creative play lines but i'm going to let the games uh speak for themselves and in the meantime if you guys want a full deck breakdown there's going to be one at the end of every video so stick around for that also there's a link in the description below for the full deck list and if you guys enjoy content just like this don't forget to hit that like button as well as the subscribe button both of those go a very long way and i would greatly appreciate it with that being said guys enjoy these games peace be sure to check out the new swayze shop that just went live get yourself a really cool community inspired t-shirt all while helping support the channel Links to the shop will be down below in the description. And with that being said, enjoy the games. Peace. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing a Grixis build. Now, today's build is going to be around a very specific artifact creature that basically becomes a copy of other creatures, which can cause for some serious, uh, seriously cool play lines. We have a really good hand here, actually. We have the Mind Link mech and the Flame Painter. This is kind of the one-two punch we really need here, plus the iteration kind of gets us going as well. So we're uh, we're off to a very good start here in this opening hand. Hopefully we can pull off some really, uh, really cool plays for you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. We got to maximize the mana uh, that we can pull from our deck. So we're going to have to play this uh, on our next turn on our main phase. Um, okay, well now we've got an option here. What do we want to do? Because we could actually play out the Mind Link mech, become a copy of the... Hmm. I'm going to risk it. We're going to hold on to the iteration. We're going to play out the Mind Link mech first, because if we can get down uh, the Fable next turn and then copy it, we get the double treasures, and then we can use the Fable to then discard some spells from our hand, and then we'll copy the Painter on the follow-up turn. So there's a lot of really good benefits to uh, this turn. Ah, uh, they're going to tap this down, aren't they? They are. Wow. All right, they tap down the Mind Link. It's all good. It's all good. Um, let's go with the Mirror Breaker play here. Mirror Breaker play down. Say go. We got to drop two of these painters off because we don't really need two of them. But uh, we do need to discard actual spells in order to copy those spells. So, All right. Well, now they've got an option. They got to make a decision here because they can tap the Mind Link mech if they want to. But then they're leaving their uh, Tamiyo open for an attack for two and potential treasure being gained off of. Uh... Yeah, that, that's still a smart play, though, because they do have a 1-1 one -one blocker in front of us. So. That does make sense. All right. Let's drop two painters here. Two painters are gone. We get magma opus in hand, huh? Okay. Well. First things first, we attack in. Attack in, get our treasure. We are working our way up to magma opus actually pretty quickly here with the, the treasure that we're going to be gaining off this. So that's not terrible. Um, another mech in the hand seems pretty awesome. Put the, uh, put the fable back in the deck. We can play this out if we want to, or, or we can get the mind link mech down and then force it to where we're guaranteed to hit the painter play. Man, tough decision here. Painter, we'll get down for one, two, three, four. We got the treasure, one, two, indulgence, drop the magma opus. We could potentially get a magma opus next turn. I think this is the move. We give up the uh, indulgence here. It's a little bit unfortunate because we give up a little bit of value there, but we do guarantee ourselves a mind link mech attack next turn, which can turn into a flame painter, getting us a magma opus, uh, which could absolutely 
swing this game into our favor big time. So let's hope they don't play anything like a uh, binding the old gods. That would be pretty bad. Or Kami War would be pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think they can play out a Kami War, which could then exile our Mind Link mech. I hope not. We'll see. They tap the 2-2. Two, two. All right. We are definitely going over the top now. Definitely going over the top now. All right, they're tapped out. Here we go. This is going to be the play here. Let's go ahead and uh, play the indulgence here. Discard Magma Opus. Get down the Flame Painter. Flame Painter crews up our mech. Crew up our other mech. It becomes a reflection of Kiki Jiki. Not that that matters. Just something to keep in mind. I could actually create two. There a benefit to be had to making two flame painters here. No, because if I make a copy of the flame painter, it's probably going to come in without flying, I would assume. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to attack the Tamiyo with this. We're going to attack their face with this. There's a lot going on here and a lot to follow. And uh, very easy for us to make some mistakes here. And I wouldn't, I would imagine we're probably, we probably are making mistakes here. We'll see. Um, now, we need to deal two to this. Two to this. Tap you and you down. We draw two cards, we create a four, four body huge another mind link mech is not bad tamio's dead we get another free spell here what's the free spell we want to play probably going to be iteration let's go iteration because if we can find ourselves another like invoke or something good for the hand we'll we'll, we'll take it so all right we'll put shizuki in hand here this can go back to the deck this goes to the exile pile, which I think, yeah, we already played a land, so that's gone. All right, cool. We're doing the thing, man. We're doing the thing. This is the very first game, and we're already kind of popping off, so that feels really nice. Uh, all that's left in the yard, though, is the Tainted Indulgence, which isn't exactly amazing. We'll make that trade all day. Meat Hook for four. All right, that's fine. We have Professional Face Breaker. We have uh, Kaido. A lot of really good stuff here, so. Um, I think I want to play out the Kaido and the Face Breaker. So that way I can draw a card. There's the scoop. They wanted no more of that nonsense. Uh, but yeah, we were going to play the Professional Face Breaker there. Attack with the Mind Link Mech. Creating a treasure. Then going ahead and drawing a card. So that feels really good. Very solid first game. All right, that was a very solid first game. I really, really enjoyed that. That was nice. Being able to get the... Um, the magma opus that early is wild, especially when we can cast upwards to two spells, you know, per per turn when we're using the uh, the double strike mechanic. Um, I'm hoping to get some invokes going into the graveyard. That would be pretty cool. Get a couple invoke despair type stuff into the graveyard. That would be amazing. But this opening hand here, pretty pretty good. We've got uh, we got a little bit of a flex card there with the maestro's charm, which can help in the various different uh, ways. But I think Kato being on the uh, and the opening hand is really solid because we can draw and discard and look to get rid of some of these spells. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's see what our opponent is playing. They did have to take a mulligan. Uh, two mulligans. Feels bad. I know how that. I know how that can be. All right, they play out a tapped land. They're on some Orzhov stuff, which means they are a little bit slower, I would imagine. Which is good. We need time to kind of set up our thing. I think aggro is our worst matchup. I don't have any sweepers in the deck, which is definitely something you may want to consider throwing in the deck yourselves. 
you know, maybe like a burn down a house or some type of an effect, but uh, I currently don't have any. It could be a definite, definitely, uh, definitely be a mistake, but uh, that's for you guys to kind of decide. All right, I think getting down the Kato fast is the way to go. Kato's in early, but we do have to worry about uh, Rite of Oblivion. It does exile our things, which can be pretty annoying. Don't want them touching our stuff. Uh, fading, uh, not Fading Hope, what am I saying? Um, uh, farewell is a problematic card as well. Um, I don't think we need to get the Flame Painter in just because there's no point. Um, getting some treasures seems pretty fun. Yeah, I'm gonna get some treasures. I think that's huge. I think getting the treasures going this early, especially with unblockable creatures, is really, really good. Also, we have a really fantastic block now for Kato uh, if the companions want to come back. Uh, ultimately, I think this is a pretty good matchup for us. And uh, the fact is, too, that they uh, they are struggling to hit their land drops. They had to take a couple mulligans. So it's just not looking super great for them. Three spirited companions. You would think that they'd hit a land drop. I've... I've been there, man. I know how painful that can be. They finally find one. We're going to have so much mana to work with, too, that when our... Um, with all the treasures, that when our Invoke Despairs and Invoke the Winds comes to our hand, we can uh, use them right away, which is great. They're really debating on this attack whether or not to hit Kato, which is completely understandable. It's a it's a tough choice for sure. Um, mm, let's see. Do I want to go Mirror Breaker here? It does get things in the yard, or do I want to go? I don't think there's a wrong answer here, but there's uh there's no easy answer either. I'm gonna go Iteration. All right, we're gonna go double Iteration. Nice. Let's go with a black source and we attack with just one. Well, if we attack with both, actually, we have enough treasures then to drop a flame painter or we can do, you know, I just got to do one. We're going to do one because we're going to leave our Kato protected here. And then we're also going to drop a Mind Link mech. I think that's fantastic. And then we follow the Mind Link mech up with the Flame Painter. Huge. Uh, there's nothing really in the yard for us to, to, you know, play though. So maybe we actually just drop the Invoke Despair this next turn. And then that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We had to unfortunately put a uh, Magma Opus at the bottom of our library, which doesn't feel great. But uh, what does feel great is our opponent's only on three mana right now. We're we're basically going infinite with treasures, card draws on, on fire, and uh, now we get to just basically impose our game plan onto our opponent here, which is going to be fantastic. Now, if I invoke but despair I here, uh, both spirited companions are going to die. Uh, we are going to draw one card, and then we can then Ifrit after that, and then... Ooh. Oh, that's for one? That's fine. That is fine. They had to do what they had to do, you know? Too many tap lands in their deck, it looks like. All right, I think we go Invoke Despair. And then we Mind Link Mech. 
get in for four, get a treasure. Draw a card. We've got so many cards, which is a good thing because all we got to do now is uh, drop a few spells into the graveyard and then we'll be able to recast them next turn. Things like this. We don't really need another one of these, but I think let's just drop a spike field hazard because the more instant and sorcery speed spells we, we drop, the better for the Afrit Painter. But, uh, uh, but yeah, this should be game. This should definitely be game. I don't see a way uh, that they can get back into this thing, unfortunately. Well, that actually is a way that, uh, that does block the flying. Shoot. Well, that's unfortunate. That blocks the flying. Maybe we go Fable the Mirror Breaker then. That way we get more treasures. It's not a terrible idea. Uh, looks like they have a Vanishing Verse potentially here. Uh, but they're choosing what they want a Vanishing Verse on, which if they choose the Face Breaker, by all means, have at it. Have at it. Yep. Sure. Let's sack one of these. Sack both of them. I don't need another Fable here. All right. Um, oh, I thought that was till next turn. That was a little bit of a mistake. Whoops. Well, you know what's nice here, though, is I did just get the uh, Invoke the Wind. So uh, hopefully being able to steal some of their stuff here will make a big difference. Um, mine the mech. We get the treasure. I can't believe I wasted those treasures. I thought for sure that I got those until the following turn. Oh, well. All right, let's draw a card here. Magma Opus. Huge, huge, huge. All right, let's go with another Fable. End our turn. And uh, let's end this game, man. We invoke the winds, and then we Flame Painter and invoke again. Seems pretty good to me. We can choose our invoke, too. I mean, we could do both invokes. That'd be wild. Uh, I didn't expect to see angels come off the top of their deck, though. I don't know what their deck's trying to do. thought it was going to be more of like a grindy Orzhov type of a deck that uses like blood on the snow type of effects and sacks their own creatures. But this looks like an angel deck now all of a sudden because they have the overseer, which is kind of odd. You almost stopped me that time. Kato's still alive, though. Kato's still doing the thing. Meat hook for two. Brutal. Okay. Fair enough. There goes all of our treasures, though. I, I kind of needed those. It's all good, though. It's all good. We get to play two spells here. Invoke Despair plus Spike Field Hazard seems pretty good. Or I could even do the, uh, the Charm. The Charm sounds like a good play. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can actually drop both mo- Oh, we can drop all of this stuff. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. That's so good. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so good. Here we go. This is going to be great. Mind Link Mech comes in. It becomes a Flame Painter. It attacks for eight. And uh, we can close the game out any way we so choose. I'm going to go ahead and troll him a little bit. Let's take this. We, we could have just gone Invoke Despair there and won the game. But I'd rather troll a little bit. And now we're going to Invoke Despair for the win. All right. GG's. GG's. Wow, this this actually is flowing really nicely, man. Those are two really solid games right there. I can't believe how well that worked, man. I cannot believe how well that actually came together. I love it. I, I miss I misplayed a lot there too in that game too. Uh, very tricky deck. I, I've I've yet to play with the face breaker either, so that m little misplay we made there was pretty understandable. I go first. If I hit a land, this hand is actually really good. If I don't hit a land, this hand is terrible. So we cross our fingers for the land. Let's do it. We need it. Opponent's got no mulligans yet, but they're thinking. There we go. Hello. Uh-oh, another... 
hive, which does eat up our graveyard. We don't like that. That card is annoying. I love their sleeves though. These sleeves are sick. The fact that they move too is really cool. Hello? You have something to play for one? It's gotta be uh, shambling gas, right? I mean, gotta be. All right, we hit our third land drop. Let's go. We're in it. We're in it, which means Fable comes down. Or do we want the... Uh... Let's drop the mech first. The mech's the better play first because then we follow it with the Fable and we can then start generating treasures. I think that's a better play. It is what it is. And then we drop both of these and then we get to fully, uh, Flame Painter, play them both out. This is going to be really good. As long as the mech obviously survives a, a turn or two, we're in good shape. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. This card, Mind Link Mech, is actually busted. Skullport Merchant. That's an alternate art, though. I mean, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Let's go with red. Drop this in here. We got to move quickly because they are absolutely going pretty quick as well with that 3 2 Tenacious Underdog dealing damage. That is. A lot of damage. All right, end our turn. Next turn is the is the turn of the century. We're gonna go ahead and blow up half their board here, tap a bunch of things, and uh, magma opus the heck out of them. Maybe we just go straight face with the magma opus. I don't know. I don't know. We're down to ten though. All right, my turn. Here we go. Let's not forget we have Maestro's Charm for three damage as well. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One shy of lethal potentially here. One damage shy of lethal. All right. Let's go Flame Painter here. And we Mind Link Mech the Flame Painter. Sorry, I'm thinking really heavily right now. That's why I kind of went quiet. Just making sure we can get this through. Obviously, they have uh, priority holds here, but they also have things like the Skullport Merchant, which can sack things at any point in time right now. So I'm guessing that's what's holding the priority, but there is a chance of instant speed removal, which could be absolutely horrific for us. Um, I am going to attack, though, with the Goblin as well. Getting us some more treasure to work with. Wow, they do have it. That's crazy. All right, well, that's unfortunate. It does die, and we're sitting here in our own grief and wallow. Um, all right, well, if they want to attack into us again next turn, that is good for them, obviously, getting us down pretty heavily. But we have uh, plenty of treasures and lands to work with here, and... Uh, they will leave themselves open to a follow-up attack by the flame painter. Shoot! There goes the mind link mech, man. Instant speed removal. Pretty solid. I had a feeling it could have been, but I was just praying that the uh, the merchant was what was triggering all of that. Uh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I top deck a land, we're good. If I play this next turn, hit a land, gain a treasure. No. There's a very slim, slim chance here that we can double Magma Opus next turn. Obviously, the Painter would have to survive, and they would have to attack into us, which looks like they might. I mean, they're sending another six, seven, eight. They're sending... Wow, they are. They're sending it. Do they realize I have the Painter out here? It, they made a big misplay here, I think. Unless, of course, they have another instant speed removal spell. If they do, we're toast. Um, okay. Here comes the card draw. Again, they're going to be holding priority because of the merchant. So let's not get too bummed out. They may not have uh, the answer. They may not have the answer here. We didn't hit a land though. Hmm, 
how do we how do we pull this off? Uh, how do we pull this off? I guess we could do the charm though to hit a land and get another magma opus. Eight, nine, ten. Hmm. I guess we attack and find out though. I guess that's the first thing we do. We attack in and we find out what exactly they do with this while wow, they allow it. Okay. Definitely gonna magma opus here. That's no brainer, right? But where do we take the damage? That's my biggest concern is where do we take this damage? Um I don't know if that's good or bad or whatever. I, I I feel like that's the best line I have. It's the best options right now. But we do potentially get a land off this Magma Opus for drawing two. And then we can do another Magma Opus, which would be fantastic. All right, we do hit a land. Okay. We couldn't guarantee that that was going to happen, though. Three. Oh, man. If I would have done... If I would have just... Trusted we were going to hit a land there. We could have gotten lethal this turn, but we don't. But uh, we're still going to do it this way. Because we would have had lethal here on the second Magma Opus. But unfortunately... Unfortunately, now we don't. It's fine, though. It's fine. We at least have instant speed here. Instant speed Magma Opus. We should still win this game. It's just annoying that I didn't... Uh, I didn't I didn't have faith in the Shuffler. Or the, uh, the, the draw... You know, the deck to produce... A land there guaranteed so had to play it the safe route and take out the tenacious underdog but if i wouldn't have and if i would have just thrown it straight at their face we would have been good we still should be fine here though i mean they're going for now um okay that's fine they're gonna learn they're gonna get two more cards and they get Something that destroys enchantments. That's fine. That's the card you want to play. Sure. I don't care. I don't care about that. You got two mana now to work with. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, they're done. They are done. We'll be seeing you. We will be seeing you. Two mana left over. I mean, Deadly Dispute is probably the best they got. <clears throat> GG's. Let's go, man. That's three in a row. Oh, man. This deck is locked in loaded, isn't it? Let's go, man. All right. A great start to this video, man. Three very good victories, man. The deck really showcasing what it can do. Um, I will admit it, though, like I said in the previous video, uh, or the previous game, that I do think we're going to struggle with the aggressive builds, aggressive decks. Uh, Boros comes to mind. Uh, Mono White, those types of things. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of that stuff, which is why I kind of built the deck the way I did, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to splash in a little bit of a, you know, cheap removal or uh, sweepers of some sort. So just keep that in mind. And we're up against an aggro deck. Okay, we're probably about to eat my own words here and uh, we're about to see just what I'm talking about. But what's nice though is I do have the Mind Link mech here. I also have Untainted Indulgence. I mean, our curve, our curve to hit what we want to hit is perfect for this. So we'll see. Uh, the only thing is, can we survive long enough to uh, get there? Question of the day. Just double checking that's instant speed. I don't know why. I just, my brain said, maybe it's not. Double Ronins. Oh, yeah, we're toast. We're toast. That can go. Mind Link Mech sounds like a lot of fun, but it also sounds like the Face Breaker would be the best choice to block some stuff here. So I'm going to go with the Face Breaker. And we'll look to do the extra mind link stuff later if we can get there. You know what's great All right, we at least keep them off of. Uh... A blazing you are lucky this is a okay. Shot. Very strange. 
I guess they just really want to get that one point of damage through, which is fine. I mean, have at it. I think we go... Nah, we'll go Mind Link Mech here. Mind Link Mech is fine. If we create a treasure, I'm going to let the Chandra be. I'm going to let the Chandra be, even though it's hitting me for one every turn. That's pretty bad for us, but... Uh, we do have a way to gain three more life from the Maestro's Charm next turn if we can get the Flame Painter down and get in. Um, man, there's an argument to be said. I should have probably... Well, no, I get a treasure one. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually get off the Magma Opus and the Maestro's Charm here on the next turn. This is going to be good. If we don't die. If we don't die, we have a, a really good turn next turn. Royal Eruption straight to the face for three. Two cards I don't know about in hand here. That's a good sign. Okay. Uh, they go to attack step. Good sign. We block. We go to three, but that's a bad sign that they have a Royal Eruption. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, we were so close. Well, seeing we lost this game, I will explain to you guys what I was going to do next turn. We were going to use two mana here to get a treasure off of this and send it to the graveyard. And then uh, that would have put us at three mana. This would have been four. We play the painter. We play this out. We get both the Maestro's Charm and the Magma Opus. So that's how we would have done it. But they had uh, they had the cards, man. They got it done. They got it done. Feels bad. We almost had it, man. Just one single turn we would have had it i don't know if we would have had it we definitely would have had the answers to the current threats that were on the board but who knows what would have followed that turn up if a simple burn spell would have got the job done so um what do we do with this yeah i don't think we can keep that i mean i guess shoot 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 okay all right all right get this down go tainted indulgence into face breaker seems good i mean the curve is pretty decent the curve is decent we're up against gruel and they're foretelling things that's a uh, highly unusual naya Vigilance coming at the beginning of your combat on your turn. If you control three or more creatures, with different powers, uh, creatures you control get one. Oh, okay. That's a, it's a big creature too. A three, three bodies. Not bad. That's a good find. That is a good find off the top ropes here. And we will definitely deal with this because I think that's going to be a problem down the road. <clears throat> Flame painter comes in next turn as a one, four body, but it has double strike. So, Combat wise, pretty solid for defending our uh, life. All right, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get this down. Say go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I went face breaker. I, didn't, I, I forgot I was just talking about the uh, flame painter. We're going to go face breaker here because we can actually get in and get some treasures here. All right, well, they've got removal. Fair enough. Uh, when the squad enters the battlefield, you have control another human draw card. Okay, so the play was to actually go Flame Painter there. That's, uh, unfortunate. Alright. Definitely going Flame Painter. I don't know if I want to cycle this land or not. Probably not. Probably not. Next turn, we can drop the Magma Opus and swing in and hopefully, you know, get it from the graveyard, which will be, I mean, perfect. We've... Could close out the game pretty quickly that way, but uh, that's going to require them attacking and leaving the lanes open. And they do. If you control another human draw card. Okay, they already got that effect. So they don't attack into me. That's unfortunate. Kind of needed that to happen. I'm gonna, I want to keep this a mystery. I want to keep this a mystery for right now. Plus, we might be able to get to uh, cast it twice if we get, get enough mana, which is definitely possible. Definitely possible. <clears throat> now, if we attack in here, how does that going to work? We attack, we do one, two. 
we die. All right, no, no attacks. <clears throat> we say go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight with the treasure. We're looking good. All right, and I'm glad I didn't walk into that wandering emperor. I didn't actually even think about that. That's uh, that would have been really unfortunate. I'm not super worried about this just because, like I said, I've got an instant speed magma opus here next turn. And uh, this is going to get very, very good for us. Um, being able to cast it essentially twice and then also um, uh, Maestro's Charm. This is going to be huge. This next turn is going to be absolutely huge. I'm not going to block anything here just in case there's any sort of combat tricks like burn spells or pumping their creatures up with like a flashed in Wandering Emperor. I'm just going to allow all this damage. It's really not that big a deal. We're at 19. Let's just protect our two creatures on the board because our two creatures are too valuable for us to lose because we need them both to, to hit this combo next turn. Please tell me you don't have something to kill him. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Yes. Okay. You're saying there's a chance. Here we go. So we got to be very careful about how we do this. So we're going to attack everything here. The treasure comes down, which then opens up Magma Opus. Magma Opus blows that up. We deal one to the face. We tap you and you. All right. So that is out of the way. Flame Painter should be able to hit twice now. Nice. Another Magma Opus. Kill you and you. Tap you and you. Beautifully done. I mean, this is just beautiful. This, this play line that we just took here is fantastic. And then we kill... You. And now we've got all the advantage in the world. Now we've got Invoke the Winds if they want to play something absolutely gnar uh, gnarly, like a, a Halana or something. We've got a Tainted uh, Indulgence for some card draw. We're looking really nice right now. I'm okay with the uh, the board being swept there. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. We will have to rebuild, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go Indulgence first. Nice. We find ourselves a Kato, which is clutch. Absolutely clutch. Here we go. Let's go. I, I need a better creature than the uh, initiate. I need a I need a better creature than that because I gotta invoke the winds and we're gonna steal. We can do better. All right, we gotta get rid of some of this nonsense. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll take it. <clears throat> I'm hanging on to the flame painter this time in case we find uh in case we find our artifact. There it is. Opponent wanted to see no more of that. That worked out so beautifully getting the double magma opus off like that. That was so huge. That is going to conclude today's gameplay portion of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. Before I break the deck down, I just have to give you guys all a huge shout out and uh, let you know how much I appreciate that. Because if you guys stick around this long, it helps a lot here on the YouTube algorithm. They love to see the watch time stuff. So I really greatly appreciate that so very much. And uh, with that being said, let's take a look at today's deck. So I am going to scoot this over. Maybe. There we go. All right. So as you guys saw uh, from the intro, we really wanted to build an free Flame Painter and Mind Link Mech combination deck. Now, the opponent that we played against a long time ago, I honestly, I mean, it, it was months ago. I, I just can't remember, obviously, what their deck was trying to do exactly, but I have to imagine it was got to be pretty similar to this, which is to get the Magma Opus into play, right? So these were the kind of the three cards we started with. And from there, we built the deck outwards and expanded upon that idea. So obviously getting the Mind Link Mech in here and the Flame Painter's ability of bringing things back from the graveyard, we had to be able to get things like Magma Opus into the graveyard uh, for high value. Obviously, the Magma Opus can do it by itself by creating a treasure and just going straight to the graveyard. But we also wanted to make sure we had some cards like Tainted Indulgence as well as the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Now, I thought uh, Tainted Indulgence would be a good option because uh i wanted to play invoke despair really bad because invoke despair is one of those cards that 
nobody likes to see. It is just an absolute world beater. This thing, it destroys your whole board state. And if it doesn't build, uh, destroy your whole board state, your opponent's drawing an ungodly amount of cards. So I thought this card was too powerful not to include into the, the game. So from there, I knew I needed to make a Grixis build. And I thought Tainted Indulgence would be a fantastic idea because it allows us to curve right into the Mind Link mech combination. And there should already be some threats into the graveyard, which is so, so good. If we get a really perfect curve out, that is going to be nuts. Now, I also didn't want Mind Link mech to be useless if it didn't have a Flame Painter to target. So obviously the Fable of the Mirror Breaker creating a 2-2 uh, creature that can create a treasure is also a fantastic target for the Mind Link mech. But also we have two other things. We have Professional Face Breaker, which it then creates another treasure. And then also Kato, which also creates the Ninja, which makes it unblockable. So there's a lot of options there for the uh, Mind Link mech to kind of cling to and crew to. So um, I thought that'd be pretty interesting. And Kato can also draw us a ton of cards. It also plays really well with the idea of discarding and putting things into the graveyard. Um, and then some other things that I wanted to splash in for some fun are things like Invoke the Winds because it's a really fun Invoke card that everyone always seems to you know forget about because it's not as great as the other ones. But still a lot of fun especially if you can get this thing to uh play for free and then maestro's charm also plays really well with the deck obviously being able to find a card off the top and put the rest in the graveyard is very helpful but also the other options of gaining life and dealing damage is very very uh you know important we splashed in a little bit of utility here with the lands and then of course iteration is just too good not to play in any sort of red blue deck so that is in here as well um as far as changes guys i would make one big change to this deck and that is i would add in sweepers i think i've already mentioned it in the video earlier but add in like a burn down the house i think that would be a really good effect to have in this deck because not only can it sweep the board which is important to do it sometimes but also if it's in the graveyard and you are ahead of your opponent you can mind link mech and then play it again for free creating the devils i think that would be pretty interesting i think they would help the deck a lot and then maybe take out the face breaker as good as it is there's only two in here for a reason because the you know the mind link mech becoming the face breaker doesn't really matter because we were already going to get the effects of the treasure anyways because the face breaker gives the treasures to any creature that hits this was just kind of a fill-in spot here i almost put in the relic robber in the spot as well uh because if the mind link mech can become a relic robber and hit them in the face it can then create a goblin that would burn their face as well so there are a lot of options here and uh this deck you know is one of those types of decks where i think you can get really creative with it with your spells uh and your choices of spells uh, so have fun with this one, man. Let me know what you guys end up doing with this thing. Let me know if you guys make any changes to the deck. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the deck, if you guys like it or not. But um, by all means, let me know down below in the comments. It helps out a lot. And uh, this is going to conclude today's video. But stick around for tomorrow's video, guys. Uh, make sure to have the notification bells on because it's going to be a lot of fun as well. We're going to play a Boros aggro list in tomorrow's video. And uh, that will conclude today though and uh if you guys are still here i just want to give a huge shout out as always before i end the video to the marty mob if you guys don't know the marty mob is a uh, the membership program here on the channel and these people here on the screen help support the channel through those uh memberships so thank you so much to each and every one of them for everything they do for me man it helps out so very much and they have probably no idea how much they're changing my lives every day so thank you so much for being part of the team and uh, if you guys want to learn more about the Marty Mob, you can hit the link down below in the description or there's a join button next to the subscribe button. So with that being said, though, guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. And then uh, Wednesday, we have a really fun stream where we're going to be battling against viewers. So if you guys want to do that, be sure to check out the Discord link down below and let me know. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hit him three times like a hat trick. Ooh. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah, FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best extra to the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah.